Hi, my name is John Moore and I am CEO of 3 d for medical 3 d for medical is committed to developing the very best medical apps and to this end we are really excited to show you our new technology which we've been developing over the last 18 months. Essentially it's 3D based and it allows the user to be able to rotate, stop or even cut open an object on the screen or label it by simple gestures of the fingers. We think it's cutting edge and we'd love to know what you think. I'm going to leave you now with a tutorial from our very first app based on this technology called the Heart Pro. Please let us know what you think. Thanks. Swiping rotates the heart. Swiping from the top to the bottom gives you a superior view and from the bottom to the top gives you an inferior view. By keeping your finger on the heart you can rotate at the speed you require. A short swipe will rotate the heart, but a long swipe, that's one that starts in the black, will cut the heart in half. A single tap on the screen will turn on the pins. By pressing on a pin, you will get the label. And by pressing on the blue info icon, you will get a description for that label. By pressing outside the description, you will turn them off. By pressing outside the pins, you will turn off the pins. By double tapping on the screen, you will get an animation. By tapping again on the screen, you will turn it off. By tapping three times in a row, you can change the background color. By tapping three times in a row again, you can change it back. Swipe to rotate. A long swipe from left to right to get a transverse cut. Zoom in. Double tap the screen for an animation. Tap to stop the animation. Tap on the screen to get the pins. Press on a pin to get the label. Press on the info icon to get the description. Press outside the description to turn them off. Press outside the pins to turn the pins off. Swipe to rotate. Zoom out to get back to normal size and swipe again. This bar is called a floating toolbar. It's called floating because you can move it to where you want. This button is called the pin button. If I press on it, I get the pins. If I hold down the pin button, I get a panel that shows the different systems. This allows you to turn on or off the pins for each system. If you turn them all on, it gets a little bit crowded. So in this case, I'm going to turn off all except for the tissue system. Pressing this button gives me a transverse cut. And pressing this button gives me a sagittal or a coronal cut. This button is called a video or animation button. If I press on it, I get an animation. If you press and hold down the video button, a panel will pop up. This will list the available animations. Selecting from this list 
changes the default animation. Again, by holding down on the video button and choosing from the pop-up list, you can change the default animation. This button is called the transparency button. When I press on it, up pops a panel that shows the different systems within the application. You can take down the opacity of a system by pulling down the slider. Then press apply. You will see in the top left hand corner that the images for the different views are being built on the fly. The index is located on the right-hand side in landscape mode. Simply scroll down, pick an item you wish to find, press on it, and in the main window, the app will find it. And I really like the way the app will fade down the tissue to show you the hidden layers. For example, the conduction layers. You can also change the default language from English to Latin by pressing this button. There are two tabs at the top of the index, one for the pins and one for the movies. If I press the movie index, I get a list of all the movies. By pressing an item from the list, the corresponding animation will be shown in the main window. This button is for the settings. In the settings window, you are presented with a list of pins that are used within the application. These individual pins can be turned on or off depending on what you want to study or what is on your course. You will also notice that on top of the settings window, there are tabs. Pressing on one of these tabs allows you to filter the pins by body systems. By pressing the quiz button, you can test yourself. The quiz takes place on the right hand side in landscape mode. You can choose whether you want sound effects. You can choose the systems you want to be tested on. You can choose the areas you want to be tested on. Or whether you want a timer or not. In the main window, a pin will appear. You will have to identify this pin from a list of six possible answers. If you get it wrong, the correct answer will appear in green. Let me show you again. It's a bit like having your own personal teacher where the teacher is turning the heart and asking you, what's this part? Then turning it again and asking you, what's this part? And when you get it incorrect, they tell you the correct answer.
This is the share button, which allows me to share the main image with other people. So for example, if I want to share this image, I can either email it, Twitter it, or Facebook it. As you can see, it is emailing an image of my main screen. By pressing the Views button, you get thumbnail views of the heart. This is a good way to learn. So for example, if you want to know what a transverse cut is, simply press on it and it will show you. R, if you want to know what a right lateral looks like, simply press on it. R, if you want to know what a coronal cut looks like, simply press on it. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see what we call our quick navigation. The little man is a quick navigation for full body systems. An example of a full body system would be the skeleton system or the vascular system. So if I have the vascular system installed and I pull the little white box down to say the knee, then the main image where the heart is would be replaced by the vascular knee. A full body system is not installed with the heart pro so you will have to purchase one if you want to use this feature. So again, if you tap on, say, the hand, well then the hand will replace where the heart is right now. And you can rotate the hand, just as you've been able to do with the heart. And again, if I press on the head, but this time I press buy, I am brought to the app page. Here it will show me that I have the heart pro installed and show me the other full body systems that are compatible. With the Heart Pro. Pressing this button brings you to the app screen. Here you will see what apps you have installed, what full system apps are compatible with the apps you have installed, and other apps that are available from the 3D for Medical Nova series. Please send us an email with your feedback and let us know how we can make this app even better. If you find a bug, please let us know as soon as you can and we will do our utmost to get it fixed.